All right, back in the kitchen. We've got some more snacks and stuff here. <laughs> There's a Cadbury cream egg that's been sitting here since Easter. I'm not even kidding you because I don't really don't eat candy that much. And Panda Lee wanted some, so I got some. And we ate some, but never finished the last one. Some of those trail mixes that I've reviewed before. We have mixed nuts and stuff in the back for guests. John sometimes eats those when he comes over. Phone books. I actually got a Zagat's Top Restaurants 2012 when we travel. We try to go to some of the better restaurants. All kinds of spices, soups, condiments popcorn, actually tea and coffee for my coffee maker over there. Yada, yada, yada. Nothing exciting, okay? We've got, these are my utensils and pots and shit in there. I'm not going to show you that. You know, electric oven. I like it. Definitely better than gas. Um, you know, electric oven down there, pots, pans. This is a uh, dish cloth so you dry your hands if you get your hands wet in the kitchen. Typical stuff over here. Bowls. We've got cleaning equipment and such. This is an old Brita pitcher I have up there. In case my, my one that I use now ever breaks or has a leak, I'll have a replacement until I get a better one. A nice dirty toaster for me cooking stuff. We've got my coffee maker. We've got all different kinds of English breakfast tea, green tea, hazelnut cream, and house blend. My panini press, which I've sh I believe I've shown in videos before. I haven't used it in quite a while, though. Knives, cleaning utensils, etc., etc., etc. Nothing major in here. You've got different kinds of tea and coffee, mugs. The Mega Man mug that you've seen in certain videos that was donated by a fan. Thank you very much. That thing is awesome. All kinds of stuff in there. This is also... This is uh, the liquor cabinet, okay? And I think I've shown you this before, but... All kinds of different liquor in here. We've got Kahlua, we've got gin, we've got Baileys, we've got different things like lemon and lime juice, Patron Cafe, regular Patron Silver, different stuff for people when they're over, they want to have some drinks, have some fun. And I'll be completely honest, it does help me on days when my back is killing me to numb the pain a little bit. Not going to show you anything, it's just like cleaning shit down here. Look at this. You know, cleaning materials and stuff down there. I don't think anyone wants to see that. My dishwasher. Um, bread box. This <laughs> this has been sitting here for a couple weeks. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> it's a lighting system that like you can install lights under the cabinets. But then I realized I probably don't want to do that. So it's just sitting here and I'm trying to decide what the fuck to do with it. Um, the odds and ends drawer. The drawer that has a hundred random things in it that you might need around the house at some point. I even have an ashtray and I don't smoke but my mom does just in case she ever is over here and needs, wants to smoke. Um... <laughs> And then down here, we've got trash bags, and we've got tool sets. These are two tool sets. This one is for stuff around the house. This is more of, like, a uh, screwdriver and stuff for computer shit. We've got my dishwasher cleaning packets. There's batteries and stuff down there. Nothing very exciting. But for the sake of thoroughness, I figured I would show everyone. So now we get to more interesting stuff. We're going to go over my countertop here. My, this is actually a bar that was custom installed when I actually, before I moved in, the person who had renovated the place put this custom wooden bar up and it was nice very nice looking until i decided to cover it with so much shit that you can't see it anymore so let's take a look at some of the shit i have on here so very first thing i have here is a flashlight a powerful one just in case the power goes out and i'm in this area i can grab it we've got the robot chicken humping robot humping a question mark block from super mario brothers we've got the heavy statue from team fortress 2 guarding the end here and actually the heavy will be happy very soon because i just got confirmation that the soldier statue which i've had on reserve for over a year was just finished production and will be being shipped this week so he's going to get a nice buddy soon um all kinds of shit over here tokens from my local supermarket that give you discounts sweatbands uh, business cards from all the people I've met at conventions over the years. Some dollar bills back here because I, I have too many singles to fit in my wallet. So I jab them back there because I do use this duct tape wallet, which I absolutely love. It's the slimmest wallet I've ever used in my life. And I actually got that off thinkgeek.com where I get a lot of my stuff. All kinds of odds and ends. you got lip balm. You've got uh, you know a spare key for my car. Um, you've got ah, so much shit here. A game token from Chinatown Fair before it closed. And then it reopened, but it's a completely different place now. So I actually have the last game token from the original Chinatown Fair, which was just an arcade in New York. We got some caffeinated candies that I never eat. I don't even know why I bought them. A, a pad here. If I ever need to take notes on something quickly, I've got a, a placeholder with my business cards in it. Why? I don't know. No one ever comes in here. So why the hell would anyone grab a business card? My watch which I bought last year for a very big discount. No, I would never, ever, ever buy a Movado watch full price. I guess I'll show it to you to show you what it looks like if I can get out of the box. Here, you look at my business card. <laughs> Extreme close-up of my business card while I try to open this box. There we go. So 
Son of a bitch. Come on, camera. Maybe if I zoom in. Ha ha. Oh, too far. It's a nice red face, metallic hands. They actually glow in the dark. I like it a lot, but I rarely wear it, and here's why. My arm, especially during the summer, sweats a lot. And it sticks to my arm. It's very, very annoying. I got another watch out here. Um, another business card holder. This is the one I actually took with me to E3 to hand out cards for people that I met. It's pretty nice. There's another one under it too. I didn't like that one at E3 because it was hard. It was jabbing into my my legs. We've got my keys. We've got some Altoids. We've got the Duke Nukem statue from Duke Nukem Forever Collector's Edition. We've got my water bottle, my SIG water bottle from many years ago when I first put merch on Cafe Press. We've got the Cobra Commander. And the Crimson Guard statue from Showcase Collectibles. And now what we'll do is we're going to turn the corner. And we've got Max Payne's collectible statue and the collectible bullet uh, keychain from Max Payne 3 Collector's Edition. And we're going to cut off the video here because my back's killing me so I can sit down for a minute. And then we're going to continue along the cat.